If you know where and when to look, it is actually possible to see the International Space Station as it passes over your community. You don't need a telescope to see the space station. It is visible to the unaided eye. The space station orbits the Earth every 92 minutes, moving from sunlight into the Earth's shadow, back into sunlight. Sometimes it is aligned so that sunlight will reflect from the spacecraft onto the dark side of the Earth. When this happens, observers on Earth see the space station as a bright object moving against a dark sky. To see the space station, you must know where and when to look. You can find this information on the internet. Use Google or go directly to heavensabove.com. Enter your location, then select ISS, the International Space Station. A data table is generated with all the information you need. The table displays the dates and times for each visible pass of the space station. The azimuth entries indicate which direction the station will be visible at, and the altitude is given in degrees above the horizon. The maximum brightness is also given, using the astronomical magnitude scale. This data table represents viewing opportunities for March the 22nd, 2009 from the Ottawa Valley in eastern Canada. That's where I live. We have an interesting event here tonight. The International Space Station is visible as it passes over and the Space Shuttle Discovery is docked to it. This should be a very bright object. I'm setting up my digital camera to take a 15 second time exposure as this satellite passes. The moving satellite will leave a trail on the image as it passes by. I've chosen a location with a good view of the north horizon. This is the image I captured. The space station with the shuttle Discovery passed over our house, 24 degrees above the horizon. The trail you see in the image represents how far the space station moved in 15 seconds. If you're watching the space station shortly after sunset, you may see it abruptly disappear. This is because it has moved into the Earth's shadow. A similar event occurs before sunrise, when the space station suddenly appears as it moves out of the Earth's shadow into the sunlight. Viewing the space station during a space shuttle visit is always interesting. Not only is the station much brighter when the shuttle is docked, but you may be fortunate enough to witness the space shuttle as it approaches or leaves the space station. When this happens, you see two bright objects, one pursuing the other. It is not often that we have the opportunity to watch scientific and technical progress from our backyards. The International Space Station gives us that opportunity. You can find more science and technology related activities at our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the projects link. <music>